Hey, it's Jacob here and today I'm super happy to present you another step range product called Keystep 37, a controller that's built to inspire. Its feature set will generate ideas, spark creativity and let you make the music that you always wanted to make. Now let me give you a quick overview of all its best features. It comes with 37 slim keys equipped with velocity and aftertouch, has a built-in polyphonic sequencer and arpeggiator, offers great shift plus key functions on the keyboard with eye-catching note LED indicators, and provides all the necessary connectivity options on top with a sleek design. The front panel starts with a sequencer and arpeggiator in the top left corner. You can toggle between those two modes with this little slick switch. The sequencer provides 8 slots that you can fill with your sequences. Each sequence can be 64 steps long. You can also save them in the MIDI control center, making up the space for the new ones. In the arpeggio mode, the same knob lets you choose various playback directions. These are up, down, inclusive, exclusive, random, walk, pattern, and playback order. Next to it, there is a time division section that allows you to playback your sequences and melodies in quarter. 8th, 16th, and 32nd note subdivisions, including triplets for each option. The rate knob determines the tempo, which is always shown on the little display. You can change the tempo by decimal numbers too by turning the rate knob while pressing the shift button. Transport section comes with a tap, record, stop, and play slash pause buttons. These are self-explanatory, however when used with the shift, record button can append extra notes step by step at the end of the sequence. Stop button can clear the last step to shorten the sequence. And the play slash pause button can restart the sequence. We will cover all of the sequencer features in more detail in the second episode, make sure to check that out. Central part provides the cool LED display that shows the status of some actions taken while playing with Keystep 37. While we're here, we can explore the chord mode slash CC bank button. This feature makes Keystep 37 really stand out. When the button is lit in orange, it means that the chord mode is active. This mode lets you play and sequence chords in a variety of creative ways. To program your own chord, simply keep the chord button held while programming up to 16 notes. Either one by one or as a chord. You can then replay your chord in many different ways. The type button gives you access to 12 different chord types. The note snap will add up to 16 notes to your current chord voicing. The notes to velocity knob will determine how many notes will play in your chord depending on the velocity of your playing. The harder you play, the more notes you'll hear. And the last one called strum will change the behavior of the chord by splitting it up into individual notes and then playing them back one by one, either upward or downward, just like a string instrument. We will cover these functions in detail in the next episode. The MIDI CC bank functionality of the same button turns these four potential meters into the MIDI CC parameters. There are four switchable banks of these, meaning that you can control up to 16 parameters in your external devices. 
You can even set their CC target numbers on the front panel by pressing and holding Shift plus CC bank button for a few seconds. This way you can quickly change the parameter that you're controlling in your external device. The two touch strips in the lower left corner give you even more real-time control over external parameters of your synths and drum machines. You can use the pitch bend slider and the mod strip to control your favorite parameters. Above those there are two buttons that will change the keyboard's octave range minus and plus three octaves. When used together with the shift button, the octave minus and octave plus buttons can also change the octave range of the arpeggiator. Just like this. The shift button also allows to access a few important features, such as the MIDI channel, gate length, Swing, it can also change the sequence type from monophonic to polyphonic, as well as activate the overdub function. It also gives you access to various scales, including the user one. At the back, Keystep 37 offers all the connectivity options that you need. It comes with the USB Type-B connector, USB cable, and there is also an anti-ground loop adapter. The back panel includes a 12 volt power input, sustain pedal input, MIDI input and output, sync input and output, plus mod, gate and pitch CV outputs to synchronize and control analog gear. Well, as you can see, Keystep 37 combines all the best step range features with a bit of its own magic. Make sure to stay with us to explore all of its best features in the next episode. Thanks for watching and see you soon.